It's Subprime Blogger back to help you with your bad credit loan needs and to help you find locations in your specific town, city, or state when it comes to bad credit loans. I've been throughout the state of Florida and have done cities like Fort Lauderdale and Pembroke Pines. And today I'm going to head into Orlando and look at some Orlando bad credit payday loan options. And I always go to Google Maps and search the city and then payday loans. You can do cash advance, you can do fast cash loans, you know there are many different names for payday loans but I always just put payday loans, that seems to be the most common. The first two results that show up are often ads for online companies. A lot of these companies are going to be online but they do have physical locations. The first one that comes up, A here at 3002 East Colonial Drive in Orlando is Amscot Financial, which isn't a name I know a lot about. It's not a national name like Check and Go or Advance America, but I did a little research and I checked out their website and they offer a ton of financial services, a lot to do with taxes, tax refund stuff, free 1040 easy. Years ago, the tax refund anticipation loan got really, really popular and companies made a ton of money off it. There was a lot of government regulation against the tax refund anticipation loan so some of these companies turned into payday loan companies they still offer some types of tax services and cash advance free money orders so this is an option in Orlando and they have a pretty good website there's a phone number to call and you can enter a zip code to see if there's one in your area or you can just go to locations here that is, it's definitely an option. It's been in business since 1989, which ironically is when the payday loan industry started to explode. So this is a name that has been around a while and I was not aware of it. Um, other names in Orlando, as you'll see, are Check and Go. That's a national payday lender. I've talked about that in some other videos. If you want to watch some other videos, just know that they have an online resource where you can, you can sign up. Rapid Cash Payday Loans is another one. I'm going to do a little research. Pretty well done homepage, to be honest, but it serves the need. You can apply online, and if you scroll down, you can fill out this application here, and you can fill out an email announcement here. You can get a referral coupon, and interestingly, they have ads for other cash advance places down here. But, you know, even though the website's not great, it doesn't mean that they don't offer great service. You might want to give them a call or see what locations they have, and it's just another option in the city of Orlando. Some other names that come up, America, that's a huge name. It's one of the more popular payday cash advanced loan stores throughout the country. Another Amscot location, this one's at 4207 Curry Ford Road in Florida. Ace Cash, that's a national, a national one. And, you know, a bunch of checking goes, a bunch of fast cash payday loans. And interestingly, on the second page, I noticed, as it loads for the second page, a truck stop, Acme Truck Stop. And I thought this was interesting, so I uploaded the page just to see what was going on, to see if this truck stop offered loans. And no, they don't. They don't offer loans. It's an overnight parking place with showers, fuel, truck repair, wireless internet. So what I assume is, is that some people were searching for payday loans, through this wireless internet in this area, it's probably pretty common in the um, in the city of Orlando. So that might be the reason it pops up. I'm not really sure. They don't offer payday loans. There might be a payday loan store close by near 9565 South Orange Blossom Trail. I would assume it's trail and not trial. They put trial here. But that's neither here nor there. So those are some of your options. And once again, the Advance Americas the cash pluses of the world. So there, in Orlando, there's at least 20 to 30 different options. A lot of them will be the same names, but always recognize that taking out a payday loan could cause huge financial concerns. And every video I talk about payday loans, I mention CFSAA.com. It's actually the Community of Financial Services Association of America. This page will show you the fees that you could pay on a $100 payday loan. And I'll put the link in the bottom as well as links to all the other resources I mentioned. But if you go over to Florida, if you can't see it, it says the maximum fee is $15 for every $100 borrowed, 
but that is a 391.07% interest rate. And this is enormous. That's a huge interest rate that you probably do not want to pay. So if you're borrowing $500, you're going to have to pay $500 plus 100 or 15 times 50, which is $75, also on the loan. So you're not just paying the $500 and then paying it back. You're paying the 575, which, you know, when you add it up over 14 days, seven. So this is something that you should personal loans, bank loans, or even credit cards that are available in the Orlando, Florida area. So make sure to do your research. But if payday loans are the final option because of a very poor credit score or no credit score at all, use some of the resources I provided to find some of the better options and always do your research when it comes to financial services and any type of financial borrowing.